More than $18,000. That's the average amount an American will spend during pregnancy, birth, and postpartum care. That's according to the Peterson Kaiser Family Foundation Health Tracker System. That's not including everything needed after the baby's born. KCRG Team 9's Emily Schrod shows us a baby supply drive that's trying to reach low income young and immigrant moms. As we get closer to the winter months, five organizations across Iowa City are hosting a baby supply drive for mothers in need. Allison Largo, coordinator for AmeriCorps Immigrant Maternal Health Project, says for low-income, young, or immigrant new moms, having a baby can present a variety of challenges. Just being able to surround them with community, um, mothers kind of telling, uh, helping other mothers with things that we know that they need. Um, it's very important. Largo says the average for just the first week of costs after having a baby can be around $250. And while inflation has cooled a bit over the last couple of months, baby essentials are still expensive. The cost of everything is, is increasing, so um, the financial burden is huge with moms um, and families um, across the United States, in Iowa, all over the place. It is important for donations to come in for families in need right now. The drive is taking everything from diapers, wipes, and formula to bigger items like strollers and car seats. And Rachel Lewis with the UIHC Family Care Center says some of these items are required to have before heading home. Babies can't leave the hospital without a car seat. To be able to provide them with a car seat before they leave is really important. A lot of moms really stress out about that um, in their prenatal visits. Largo says they're hoping the drive will take away just a few of those financial burdens for new moms. It's stressful to have a baby and so to just take one piece of stress and um, show them that the community loves them, that the community accepts them, and that we're really happy for them and their baby. For more information on how you can donate, you can check out this story at KCRG.com. In Iowa City, Emily Schrod, KCRG TV9 News.